We'll move on to item number four, which is to proclaim October Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Uh, Chief McAlpine. Good evening, Mayor and Council, Chief Kathy McAlpine. Um, rather than hear from me tonight on a very important proclamation, I've asked two of our valued stakeholders and partners to maybe say a few words that we don't often get to hear from them. The first you'll hear is from Amanda Burnett, from the Domestic Violence Resource Center, and that'll be followed up by Tristan Irvin from the Family Justice Center. So Amanda, if you're on, would you please go ahead? Hello, I'm Amanda Burnett. I'm the Housing Director for the Domestic Violence Resource Center. I'm here to say that each October, we gather to honor survivors of domestic violence and the advocates who support them on their journeys. Ending domestic violence requires the leadership of survivors, the support of community members, and the collaborative efforts of law enforcement and municipal leaders. I'm here on behalf of the Domestic Violence Resource Center of Washington County to say thank you to the city and people of Tigard for standing with survivors during the Domestic Violence Awareness Month and throughout the year. Thank you for making a difference in the lives of survivors. Thank you. Tristan, go ahead. Perfect. Well, and I'm coming to you from not my normal location, so my camera might turn off, so I apologize. Um, my name is Tristan Irvin, and I have been honored to serve on the board of directors for the Family Justice Center for a couple of years now um, and sort of be the Tigered rep for that. Um, I really appreciate Mayor Snyder, the city councilors, the city of Tigard for really making um, this domestic violence um, month a priority and showing support. The Family Justice Center of Washington County appre appreciates the ongoing support the city of Tigard provides every year. It makes a huge difference in our communities. The city's financial support and also the strong support from Chief Kathy Alpine have allowed us to continue to provide quality services to victims and families of domestic violence. Um, one really exciting piece to share is that we have been allocated some state funding to expand our footprint and bring in CARES Northwest, which is a child abuse center, um, into a home here in Washington County. They are currently located in Multnomah County and are serving a very large number of children from Washington County. So they will continue to provide services in Multnomah County as well as have a location here within the FJ FJC to service child abuse victims and families from our county and in one location. So that's been a really exciting thing to have um, kind of on the docket and coming up. And again, I really appreciate all of the support that Tiger gives to the Family Justice Center. Thank you, Tristan. Uh, Chief, is there anything further that, uh, that you want to add? No, I think both of these uh, women have said it best. And again, I just thank them for their diligence and working in this important effort. And again, back to the council for recognizing October as Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Thank you. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Tristan. Good to see you both and appreciate your support. Uh, council, is there someone that would like to make a motion? I'll move to approve proclaiming October Domestic Violence Awareness Month. I'll second that. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. Uh, City Recorder, please conduct a roll call vote, starting with Youth Councilor Nog for an advisory vote. Youth Councilor Nog? Yes. Councilor Goodhouse? Yes. Councilor Newton? Yes. Council President Lube? Yes. Councilor Shaw? Yes. Mayor Snyder? Yes. Okay, motions adopted unanimously. The Tigard City Council has proclaimed Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Thank you to our guests.